Strict copyright protection from the Zeitgeist movement. I got a few copyright strikes from Peter Joseph. As an activist of the Zeitgeist movement, I was under the impression to spread the movement. Does the Zeitgeist movement want people to advocate it or not? I mean, copyright is not real. Copyright is as real as money. It's a legal fiction that doesn't exist in the natural world. Whatever the combination, our reality has already allowed it to exist. So any piece of media is actually a discovery, not an invention. Taken to the extreme, what else can copyright own? Colors? Musical notes? Numbers? Equations? If someone moves some pieces of reality around, it does not make it theirs. Morally, it still belongs to this reality, or God, if you will. Hence, you hear stuff like a video getting a copyright claim for a certain type of bird chirping in it. What is the point of the Zeitgeist movement? Is it a to advocate and make people aware of the current state of technology, how the market is a detrimental social system and a better one is possible, namely, an open source society or resource based economy, which is the scientific method applied to social and environmental concern, which the Venus Project and Jacques Fresco laid the groundwork for? Or is it b to protect a brand name? To be a so called official source of information yet not care if people want to actually advocate the direction laid out by TZM by flooding the internet with zeitgeist videos to make TZM unavoidable. I thought there was no such thing as an official zeitgeist movement, hence, my zeitgeist art and zeitgeist flyers I put up for the movement have been open source. You can't support the zeitgeist movement and support copyright at the same time. The two contradict each other. I haven't copyrighted any of my Zeitgeist art or Zeitgeist flyers to make money from them. The Zeitgeist Instagram account has even used photos of my flyers, but I believe in sharing though, unlike the Zeitgeist movement it seems. The Zeitgeist movement is allowed to use my content for its purpose of looking good, but I'm not allowed to use theirs? Copyright is censorship. Even the Zeitgeist Media Project way back, I remember artists borrowed art from the current Zeitgeist to spread the message of a resource based economy, and that was apparently okay. I'd expect this kind of strict copyright protection from the likes of Scientology or Mormonism to prevent criticism, not Zeitgeist movement activism. Without any monetary benefit, mind you, just mirroring Zeitgeist movement related videos on YouTube. How can we be for an open source society or resource based economy when we don't practice what we preach? Copyright foundationally goes against how computers work. Computers are copying machines. Hence, the move to counter how computers work with sanitizing computer environments like with apps and streaming services. I still support the Zeitgeist movement, meaning the idea of a resource based economy, and I will continue spreading the movement. But I see other Zeitgeist related YouTube channels doing the same thing as me, mirroring Zeitgeist videos on their channels to support the movement. So they're allowed to and I'm not? Is the Zeitgeist movement going to actually become a cult or a brand that protects all its videos from other unofficial Zeitgeist movement related channels like the Zeitgeist Movement Chapter YouTube channels? I'm disappointed that the movement has made the choice to enforce copyright like Scientology to protect a brand because there is apparently an official Zeitgeist movement, trademark, copyright, all rights reserved, to protect. The Zeitgeist movement does not own facts or the train of thought which leads to the conclusion that we need an open source society. Hypothetically, let's say the official global Zeitgeist channel is hit out of the blue with three community guideline strikes in a row, taking the channel permanently down. The politically correct movement being, for instance, incompatible with the Zeitgeist movement since the Zeitgeist movement is a scientifically based movement. If the movement was about a message and not about a brand, you'd think TZM would allow its content to be mirrored unofficially so there is not simply one centralized channel with so much content that could be taken down by YouTube at any moment for literally no reason. You'd think the Zeitgeist movement would be more powerful if it was decentralized in practice and not in theory. Anyway, these are just my thoughts on the matter. My message to the Zeitgeist movement comes from the TV show The Wire from the character Weebay. Do what you feel.